It was 1991, and a woman came to me for counseling. And basically, she wanted assurance that she could go back to her workplace and just tell off everybody. And then just wash her hands of the place and walk away. I never tried to talk anyone out of changing jobs or changing positions in life. But often, I will try to talk a person out of the method in the way that they want to do it, the bridges that they want to burn. I asked her to go back, and I said, since you're leaving anyway, why not go back and serve God and just spend your remaining time there comforting others, listening, smiling at them? providing praise to uplift those around you. Well, she decided that she would do that. And I often hear from this lady, she's still with the same company, but she has been promoted so many times because she made such a difference in so many lives. And she also made a difference in her own. You can't comfort someone else without being comforted yourself. It is perhaps the greatest spiritual thing that we can do to get outside of ourselves, not be so centered in our own problems that we forget about the problems of others. In Proverbs 25, verse 11, it says a word spoken at the right time is like golden apples on a silver tray. When you pray at the beginning of the day to be a comfort for another person, well, you have opportunities at a precisely the right time to make a lasting difference. Discouraged people, they do not need critics. They hurt enough already. They don't need more guilt they don't need piled on distress. They need encouragement. They need a refuge, a willing, caring, available someone. Sometimes the world can be a pretty harsh place. At one time or another, most of us will have a disappointment or a loss. And sometimes you know that it will be so profound that it seems to the person at the time that they will never recover. But God promises comfort and healing if we'll go to God. And many times that comfort and healing will be sent to us by caring individuals that are doing the work of God, whether they realize it or not. And then, when we have received that comfort and that healing, what are we to do? We are to comfort others. When you meet others this week in need, offer comfort by sharing your courage, your help, your faith, and know that you can you can make a difference when someone's going through a dark valley of their life. You can comfort others. Do you know why? Because you have been comforted directly by God. So, are you in need of comfort today? Discover the miracle of healing that comes when you accept God's comfort and then you do not keep it just welled up damned up inside of you, you allow it to flow through to bless and to comfort others.